Hello friends, I'm Sarah Rose, and today I paint something and cover it up, all in the spirit of the new year. I start this painting like I usually do. I show you my yellow color swatch that I'm basing this painting off of. I also show you a couple of podcasts that I was listening to during the process of making this sketchbook page. Those are listed in the description box, along with all of the supplies I used in this video and my social media, and my Pinterest, and my Patreon, so if you want, you can check those out. I decided to sketch this off screen because right off the bat I was having trouble making him look the way I wanted. I eventually created a drawing that would suffice for this video, so long as I could glamour the piece with my watercolor expertise <laughs> and somehow make it look better. Um, this sketch was um, an all around decent sketch that I could work with. The real problem, I think, is my approach to painting this. I started by laying down some yellow to mimic the warm glow of a candle or sunrise or maybe just a yellow light bulb upon this man's cheeks, nose, forehead, and chin. I then tried to create the shadow um, and blend the yellow with the skin tone. Surprise! It doesn't work! Perhaps I was using the wrong color combinations, the wrong paper for so much layering, or I just had the wrong mindset. Don't get me wrong, one failed painting in a sketchbook is not a big deal. The discomfort I felt after realizing it was a terrible painting wasn't even a big deal. More like a medium deal, if that exists. Of course, only for a split second did I think, well, guess this painting will just stay here, marring what could have been a beautiful page. Then I hastily decide, hey, let's cover it with some ink. And then, why not more ink? Yeah, I just cover it right up, just like that. I know keeping your mistake visible in a sketchbook can be valuable, and in most cases I probably would have just covered it with a sticky note and that would be it. Today I decided that I wanted to make something pretty on that page instead, and I think as we enter into 2018, we should all do the same. I don't mean cover everything up with pretty stuff. I mean, do what you want and what makes you feel the best. I know this is a deep-ish message to get from a random page in a random sketchbook and a random video you're watching on YouTube, but seriously, I want everyone to do what feels right in the coming year. That is, unless murder feels right to you, then don't do that, please. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe you can think about that while you sit back, relaxing to a podcast. Maybe even one that I listed in the description box below. Sipping on a hot tea or coffee or even a hot cocoa, if that's your preference. And just reflect on the idea that, just like this sketchbook page, you own the year ahead and you can make it what you want. As a side note, thank you all for being here. 2017 was my first year on YouTube, so I am very grateful for all of you who came here and supported me and my channel. Here's to hoping that the new year is even better for all of us. Happy New Year, and as always, thank you for watching and see you next year! Bye!